Have you ever had the opportunity to behold a swarm of bees? I use the verb behold because you don't just see the bees. You look upon them. Like Mary Magdalene looked upon the empty tomb of Jesus Christ. There is a feeling of dare I say, reverence, because this throng of insects appears more powerful than the eye of a hurricane and more lethal than the crowds that worshipped a notorious dictator and his flags of broken crosses. Bee stings can kill. But when this other venom we know as anti-Semitism, makes its way into the body, it sickens its victims with so much hatred that what we recognize as the true self is brought to extinction. I dream of catching them with their apparently harmless spray paint cans halfway through their graffiti, unfinished. Or I could leave them be with the hope that their pro-Nazi prattle rendered with an aerosol will die from unoriginality. But do I really want to run the risk of the masses developing a preference for their anti-Semitic slogans merely because they are familiar with them. Crazy concept? The answer is no, because it happened with Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. The last thing I want to see is a swastika on a bath towel or toilet seat, so I will keep my warrior gear close at hand.